But international cat care are really important and, and current campaign is about the dangers of using certain dog flea treatments on cats. And the treatments we're talking about um, are spot-on treatments where you put a little spot of treatment on the back of the dog's neck, um, but they're the ones containing permethrin, concentrated permethrin. The trouble is permethrin is very, very poisonous to cats and many cats have died as a consequence. It's something that happens sometimes by accident because people just are not aware not to use the dog product or they've thought, I'll use just a little bit of it on my cat because the dog's bigger than the cat and I'll use half a tube. It's still very concentrated and very lethal. Maybe they've just treated the dog and the cat and the dog are great friends and they've snuggled up together and it's wiped off on the cat and the cat's groomed it off and the cat again is poisoned in that way. Several years ago, we campaigned to get labels on all these dog spot-on products which came, contain permethrin um, and they have put labels on which is an outline of a cat with a, a, a cross through it. The trouble is it's still quite small and people don't notice it. Um, we also uh, really pushed so that there's something written on the tiny little tubes, which there is, but again, quite hard to see. And we know now that these accidents are still happening. The problem is that cats metabolise drugs differently to other animals. And we know that permethrin is one of those drugs that cats are particularly sensitive to, which means that whilst in dogs it is really a very safe product, can be used very effectively, even a tiny amount of permethrin in a cat can cause fatal toxicity. I think if anybody feels that they, their cat may have been exposed to permethrin, if they may have accidentally put the product on, a dog product on the cat, or if the cat has been lying close to a dog that's been recently treated with permethrin, first thing to say is contact your local vet as quickly as possible. The sooner a cat is seen and the sooner a cat is treated, the better its chances of survival would be. If a product has accidentally been applied to a cat, again, the best thing is to try and wash that off immediately. So using a mild shampoo, a pet shampoo, or a, a mild baby shampoo, just to wash the area of the coat to try and wash off the product itself, that would be the first step, and then to seek veterinary treatment as quickly as possible. Because these products are easily available, people think, oh, it's fine, it's not gonna hurt my cat, I'll use a little bit of it, or it won't matter actually it's still very very poisonous to your cat so what we are campaigning to do is to get people to sign up to try and get the legal status of these products changed so that when you buy them in any shop somebody actually says to you have you got a cat never use it on the cat if you have got a cat and you're using it on the dog keep them apart for 72 hours and then we won't have so many problems